So we're out on site today. Um, before beginning any work on site, make sure you've got all your safety gear on and all appropriate tools. Right now, we're about to run a string line to mark out where we're gonna be digging our posts and keeping our fence straight. To do that, you wanna put in a stake, a post or a pole at either end, run your string, pull it tight, and make sure you've got your level correct. Today we're installing 2.4 wide by 900 high panels. So right now, we're gonna get our tape measure and mark out two 2450 centers so that we know where to dig our posts. Just by using line marking paint on the ground, running your tape measure and following that same measurement the whole way along for the length of your fence. For a standard fence, you wanna dig about 600 mil deep by about 150 wide before you begin to concrete your post in. As you can see, we've now dug all our holes and placed our 1500 high posts in for our 900 high panels. Right now, we're going to show you how to install these panels with an internal L-clip. Using your tape measure, place it at the top of the spear and you wanna get your measurement to the top of the rail. This is gonna tell you where to place your L-clip on the post. With our measurements from the top of the spear to the top rail, we have 125 mil. And from the top of the spear to the top of the bottom rail, we have 880 mil. This is gonna help us mark out our posts at the correct measurements for our L-clips. Using those measurements we just recorded, we're now gonna transfer that onto the post. Grab your tape measure, mark down 125 mil, and then you're gonna to wanna to, want to mark down 880 mil. Once we've done that, we're gonna fix our L-clips or internal clips to the post. Now we're going to mount the L-clip on the underside of, the, of your mark using an impact gun and a tech screw. Repeat the same process on the second line of your post. Make sure it's fixed correctly and repeat the process for your next post. Now we're gonna check the level of our post following the string line in this case, we've set our post to be approximately 75 mil from the ground from the panel. And now we're ready to add some concrete. The best practice when mixing concrete is to use a wheelbarrow or a bucket. Add some water and then begin mixing your concrete. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you fill in your hole, that it's completely filled with concrete and once we've done that, we can go back and check the level of our post. So now we're checking the level of our post to make sure that once we've put the concrete in, it hasn't moved. Once the level's correct, you can move on to the next post. Our next step is to grab the panel and to fit it between the posts. As you can see, we've got a couple of timber blocks to help keep the panel level while he slides it over the L-clips and fixes it between the two posts. As you'll see, we haven't concreted in our second post yet. This allows a bit of movement with the L-clips to make sure that it slides in nice and easy and that we keep our panel level. As you can see here, our panel's sitting pretty level. We can always double check it with an actual level and then we'll be able to move on, fix our clips off from the back and concrete in that second post. Now you've checked that your panel is level, you wanna grab your impact driver and fix off the internal clip through the top rail with a tech screw. By doing this, it's gonna give you a nice, neat and tidy finish. A couple of handy tips. When you finish concreting, make sure you clean up your post to make sure there's no excess concrete that'll ruin the decoration or the image of your fence and make sure you clean off any swarf that you may get from your screws. Once your panel's all fixed off, grab your level, make sure it's level along the top and check your posts again. Once it's all plumb and level, you can move on to the next set of panels.